Hey there, YouTube. I'm back. Well, at least sort of back. Um, I want to apologize to you guys. I've uh, been away for a few weeks. Uh, had a little bit of an accident at work, and thanks to uh, good old eye droppy thingy here, I'm able to see enough to start filling around with figures and stuff again. So, like I said, everything's okay. Still a little blurry, but at least I can get back to work. So, I've uh, been working on a couple little things. I've got a couple figures here done from my last on the table vid. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you these guys that I finished up here the last few days. And um, put a little, couple little tips here on the end. And uh, here's another little part of my on the table for this month. Well, actually, for last month. Just a uh, chance to get it back and you guys see it. He'll be right back. My last on the table vid I put up um, showed you this guy as a mock up. Um, made this guy for Black Sun, or uh, Linden at Black Sun Studios. Um, turned out fairly well. I really like the way this guy went together. Um, he went together so smooth that I basically can't see all my green stuff mods I did for him. But, uh, sort of what we got going here is uh, the uh, shield still just tacked on. Uh, that way you can allow him to glue it on when he's ready after he paints it because he's going to paint this guy. And uh, figured I'd leave the shield off that way he can get a chance to uh, get in there and get his paint in. But the modifications to the figure, you know, of course you can see the green stuff I added for the hair. But what you really can't see is this chest piece is a Wolfguard Terminator chest uh, that's been modified to fit power armor. Um, there's a big section of green stuff in the waist area there to get it to match up. Um, green stuffed in to get the chest to match up with the power armor back. Also had to modify both shoulders to get him in that pose and modified the hips to get him in that pose. But um, like I say, he turned out really, really pretty well. Um, it's a complete one-off miniature, but like I say, all the green stuff was, I was able to uh, hide with uh, GW plastic, so I think he turned out fairly well. Be right back with the next miniature that I. Okay, you guys have up. seen this guy a couple times. Um, I did this one for John at Armor World. This is the one where I, you know, sculpted him up a flesh tear symbol, give it this beaten, roughed armored look, shoulder pad. Uh, converted the uh, Sanguinian Guard chest into a Terminator chest. And of course the added hair to give him that little angelic look. Give him a custom Thunder Hammer. Took the uh, Flesh Terror's emblem that I sculpted for here. <coughs> sculpted one for the, the head of the hammer. It goes both sides. Uh, give it a big beefy look. So that's his little custom chapter master for John. Um, other modifications. Um, can't really. S other than just the chest and the shoulder and the hammer are all the modifications that was done to this miniature. Um, of course, you know, modified the hammer arm to from a power sword arm to a uh, thunder hammer arm. Um, other than that, he's pretty much a straight, straight build. Um, really like the way he turned out. Not overly flashy, but still a little bit of a little bit of bling. So that's what I've been able to get done here in the last couple of days and 
I'll be back with a few tips at the end of this video. Um, get back into doing some tips for you guys. Some cruise stuff tips. So stay tuned for some tips. We'll be back. Okay guys, here's your little green stuff tip. You're saying, you know, well, man, what, you know, what's this old beat up piece of paper towel for? Well, here I want to show you real quick. Basically, uh, you know how I always say whenever you guys are working your green stuff, keep your uh, your your tools dampened? Well, what you got here, it's just basically a paper towel, sort of like, um, um, making a wet palette for your paint. Basically make a wet palette for your br your uh, green stuff. So all you have to do to dampen your your uh, tools is drag them over top of the uh, dampened paper towel. And that gives you just the right amount of dampness to your tools to keep it from sticking to green stuff. I mean, you know, like say I use these rubber tip brushes but um, you know, say you're using uh, some you know, like a sculpting tool, something like that, it works the same. All you have to do is, you know, like say you're working your green stuff over here, and you notice you're getting dry. Rub your tool on the damp towel. That way you're not having to lick it or anything like that, and it still keeps it nice and damp. Also, I noticed some of you guys have complained that uh, your, your hands are sticking to your green stuff when you're do, doing it. All you have to do is, uh, while you're mixing your green stuff, grab all the paper towel, your fingertips are damp now, they no longer stick to the green stuff. So, um, you know, you can basically dig this from just making it into a wet palette. I just generally just take a paper towel and um, drop some water on it and get it damp and run it that way, but you know, like I say, you, know, you can make it any size you need. You know, take up, so don't take up as much room, but still, all you gotta do is, say, wipe your fingers over it, or, you know, wipe your tools over it. And you got a nice, dampened tool, and it won't stick to your green stuff. There's your tip for the day. Thanks, guys. Hey, guys. Here's another tip for you. You haven't got one of these little buggers yet. This here is a magnifying lens, or a jeweler's lens, or I'm sure what they're called, but basically it just magnifies stuff. And little flip down visor. See your work. And this one here is even flashy. It's got a little LED thingy up here. Help you see better. But you ever get a chance pick you up one of these. Um, this one here I bought at um, um, Harbor Freight. Just a general little lens. It's got multiple uh, lenses you can get with it. Uh, different magnifications. That's what this here, here box is for. Um, just replacement lenses for different strength mags. But um, even if your eyes are in pretty good shape, these here is going to get you down really close to the detail. Um, when you're painting, modeling, whatever, um, very useful to see what you're working on. Um, highly recommend you all picking up a set of these. Like say, these is here is a little bit flashy. You got the different lens settings you can set into it. It's got um, a couple of different arms to. For different lenses, you just kick the one you need out, kick the one out, you know, so you can see. Like, say, you want to go to super magnification, you can put one of these guys in. Um, you know, you don't need very much magnification, you can go with one of these. But, um, nice little pickup. I think it was like six, seven bucks. You know, really help. Uh, like say, this one right here has got that little you know, LED light on it just give you a little extra light but you know most of the time you won't need it but like I say it's just a little cool little thing to have you can get them like I say you can get them like this one or also got like this one here which is um, 
basically the same deal, adjustable strap, um, you know, kick it up where you don't need to see, bring it back in. Uh, this one isn't adjustable, it's a set lens, um, but um, this one's only three or four bucks, so you're going to get you know, a cheaper one or a little bit more expensive one. Um, either way, get you down close to the work, good to have around. So a little tool tip for you today. We'll see y'all later. Back to sculpting. Well yeah guys, while I was editing this video I realized I forgot to do the shout outs I wanted to do. Uh, have a couple here really to get in real quick. Um, first off, this you know quick one to Black Sun Studio or Linden. Um, Linden does some commission stuff and um, done a very good job on the um, unclean one he just finished up. Uh, just get a chance. You can go check him out. I know I've mentioned him before, but uh, pretty good guy. Appreciate you guys going and looking him up. Um, also, I wanted to say Martius. You know, Martius Augustus Calgar. I'm sure all of you know who he is. But if you don't, go check Martius out. Martius is another big time painter here in YouTube. Um, Dude, tanks were looking nasty. Good job, man. And also I wanted to throw out one to uh, Templar Crusade. Out one. Um, man, just got through making up, a, or is working on, hasn't finished it yet, but he is working on a, um, a Nurgle Titan. Guy's been throwing down some green stuff you guys need to check out. If you haven't got a chance to watch uh, anything from Templar, go check him out. I highly recommend it. Um, Dude, make some awesome terrain. Um, also working up a Krieg army right now, and he just got married. Yeah, dude, getting married, good thing. And wife buying you GW stuff to or Forge World stuff, wasn't it? Yeah, uh, tank is looking good. You got a wife that buys you a tank for a wedding present? Keep her, man. Talk to you guys later. Good chance, go check these guys out.